think about that? He's too blind to notice it. His eyeballs suck. I got a dollar. <laughs> Seriously, have you ever tried surfing on that coil yet? Newport it's a little bit before four quarter to four Mike's up there that way um, Rami will be here in a little bit it's kind of misty kind of strange but uh, we're gonna give this a whirl I got a target here already First target, a dime. All right, cool. See, a dime. Uh, all right, well, we'll see what, check in with Rami when he gets here. All right, later. Well, I just dug up a little gold colored split looking ring. I don't know, it's nothing great. But, this don't sound too bad. It just cracks me up though how I can be standing high and dry. And as soon as I stick a scoop in the water, or the sand, here it all comes. There's a quarter down in there. Quarter. I'll take it. On to the next. I don't know, sounds kind of uh, Bobby Pinnish or something. Not real, not real uh, enticing, but I gotta check it out anyway. And while I'm Walking up the bank here, I'd like to give a shout out to somebody. I want you to go check out his videos. He does an excellent job and he does it all from his cell phone. They're kind of zany and they're kind of fun. Uh, his name's Johnny and it's Guess It Was Fate Metal Detecting. He's having a 500 subscriber giveaway. He's giving away some nice prizes, so you should go check him out, subscribe. Um, leave him some comments. He loves the comments. He's a really good guy and he used to live around here years ago. So if you get a chance, please go check it out and uh, I think you'll like him. All right. Good luck on that uh, thousand, Johnny. All right. Let's see what bobby pin I got here. pin a little metal tie off a bag of ice or some crap lovely cool <laughs> very first target can't be done uh, find this damn light well, Ronnie Rami's already on the board with the tungsten god these things weigh a lot don't yeah, they yeah. I, I did a I did a grid around it a spiral I'm hoping I'd find something next to it Oh yeah, it's marked right there. The, uh, I don't. It, it doesn't have a mark. I don't. Oh, maybe it does. Right there in the There's corner. Here. Let me. Uh, what the hell let says. me get out my. Shit! I got nothing but some pennies, quarters, a chain that I knew it had to be crap because I found it. 
I went yesterday, and uh, I know you don't go to the friendly metal detector forum, but there's uh, a forum I, I... It's stamped, but it's it's messed up. It's flat. Yeah. It's all pushed out flat, but that, that looks silver. Yeah, it's got to be silver. I mean, it's even tarnishing the way silver does. Yeah, exactly. Ouch. Good job, man. Thank you. Anyways, right. uh, Boom. I want to... Uh, well, it's been a while since I've had a decent target. I dug up some aluminum chunks and more damn bobby pins. So, this is the first decent target. And I ain't saying that it ain't a bobby pin because sometimes them damn things sound pretty good too. It's an earring. Oh, how pretty. Pretty strange. What's that supposed to be, the earth? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, cool. Catchy. On to the next. Well, I dug that earring right back over there. Oh, this target sounds kind of, uh, I don't know, kind of mushy spread out. So, we'll see. Well, it's in the scoopa. One nickel. Five meager cents. On to the next. Well, half of it was sticking up out of the sand. But I got a little puka shell bracelet. I don't know, this end looked like maybe something came off of it. That little hole looks like it's too small to go on that clippy thing. So, but anyway, little puka shell bracelet. I'll take it. Yes, dude, I was coming to get that just now. <laughs> oh, you can have it. I think it's just crap. <laughs> Look what I found, dude. Check this out. Holy crap, that's tiny. I, bet I found like five of the damn it things. Is? Yeah. Oh, man. I don't know who's out here spreading pellets yeah, around. All right, Jakes. Jakes. That's cool looking, though. It is. Pave set, so. It's heavy. Dude, I got like. Ten sinkers too, all of a sudden. Really? Yeah. Oh, that was the hot spot. You know what? Look at this <laughs> scoop. You ain't kidding, dude. These <laughs> cheap scoops aren't worth shit. Yeah, give it to Dustin. Let him straighten it, and then weld a, a beam oh, across it. it. Okay, cool. He can do that. Then. Yeah. So if we go down there, maybe we can give it to Tony. Yeah. You'll have to take my spare. Yeah. And use my spare. He never sent you a pluggy, Dougie I didn't pluggy. I not him about it yet. Oh. I haven't even, no. <laughs> yeah, I've never even looked at this. 925. Really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, shit, it ain't junk then. It says 925 right down inside. Sweet. You never know. Those may be, uh... Well, you can't have it then. <laughs> but I, I fear the worst that they're just going to be some, some crap. Well, Romy and I were standing here kind of shooting the crap before we hit the showers. <laughs> and, uh... I was thinking trash or treasure and I got another signal and I dug trash so I kept on going then I got another signal and I found the matching pair of gold colored earrings I and mean, often you get to find the, the both of them yeah and if towel, you do find both of them towel drop because they were both right there usually pretty so far apart, anyway yeah. that's my trash or treasure we're gonna go clean up and go see if we can find Tony at Jack in the Box and <laughs> have a bite to eat and do this again the next day. All right, so from beautiful Newport Beach, this is the Silver Sniffer. Out. Well, good afternoon, everybody.
Today is the 6th of August already, and uh, went out this morning, met up with Rami, down at old PB&J, and that's pretty much what it was. He found a, a tungsten ring and some other little trinkets, little 925 earring, pretty nice. Me, I found this horny toad. I don't know, have an idea what this is supposed to be. <laughs> anyway, um, I had fun, but it wasn't a whole lot of finding going on other than the typical PB and J stuff. A lot of bobby pins, a lot of just things here. I'll show you in a second. But I found this here key. One, two, three big weights. And Dustin thought he found a giant space pod. Look at that space pod. That's the uh, number three in a series space pod. And it had been rammed by something. So that's probably why it ended up out in the ocean. Found a puka shell. A fake puka shell, because those aren't real puka shells anymore. Bracelet. A piece of a Keithy special, a broken little ring of some kind, really tiny, or it's a toe ring, it's not gold, gold colored, um, but I found a bunch of these little things, these okay I get, that I get, little rivet, little piece of balled up wire or whatever little chunk of junk but I must have found 10 of these little steel pellets and I found them out there once before and I swear that somebody went out there and threw them out there and I don't know what they're from but they were all over in one spot I spent like 10 minutes digging up these little things and finally I just said I give up and I walked away from that spot so, I don't know what's going on with that, but uh, somebody out there sabotaging us, I guess. But, uh, anyways, I found this cruddy chain. Nothing special. I found two earrings right at the end. You saw that right there at the end in the same hole. I got... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 pennies. Two nickels. Two dimes. And a buck 75 in quarters. Woohoo! And then this little gizmo that I have no idea what it's supposed to represent. It's just a pattern. And one of the little beads fell off because it's laying right there. So, I don't know what this is, it's, just an, it's an earring, junk earring, but that's what I found today. Kicking butt, wasn't I? Just kicking it. Anyways, um, I may head out tomorrow, where, I don't know. I don't know if I'd, ever, I'd go back there tomorrow, but you never know. I might. But uh, until then, I want to thank everybody for watching. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Um, take care. Good luck and happy hunting. See ya.